Uh, so our final speaker, um, we heard from in the previous panel, because she was sitting in the expert panel, and she runs this massive um, or network of um, network of transmission operators. She's the chair of the board at the European Network of Transmission System Operators. It's the grid. It's that wonderful diagram that Oscar showed us, which is getting thicker and thicker under different scenarios. Is it going to happen in order to give us a renewable, sustainable future? Ben Tahagam is going to tell us why it's so important. Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the transmission system operator's contribution to all this. And uh, so I just start. Here are the, the brands from all the 43 transmission system operators in Europe. And, uh, and we are together in, a, in an organization called ENSOE. Uh, EU uh, established two institutions in 2009. And it was Acer in Norway called Acer, and it was NSOE. So we are one of them. And we are trying to enable the energy transition. So we do 10 year network development plans. We make market platforms so we can uh, trade with each other. We make network codes, and we, need, we, we also establish regional coordination centers. So we are secure for security in all regions. So these are our tasks. I think, I think we haven't heard too much about EU in this uh, discussion, but I think EU has, is on the way to meet the Paris targets. They keep uh, pointing on these political goals. And uh, maybe more people should be a member of EU, I don't know, but they are doing the right thing, at least when it comes to climate. So uh, they are uh, also, uh, have also targets for 2050, and uh, that is 80 to 90% uh, CO2 emission reduction uh, in, by 2050. So that's very ambitious, and they are creating this in the energy union, they call it that, and it's to make sure that uh, EU is uh, self-sufficient by energy, so it's one, uh, one thing, and then also the climate change will be solved at least in, their, uh, in, in, in Europe. But we have a system in fundamental change as we talked about. And uh, how can we make sure that the customer is connecting, connected in this uh, fundamental change? We've gone from national markets and centralized systems we have got to European markets and decentralized systems. So how can we do this uh, and make sure that the customer is connected? We need more grids. Maybe not as much as Oscar proposed, but we need more grids. We need uh, better markets, and we need the digitalization. And it's coming, and it's disrupt disruptive. So, we are investing uh, towards 2040, uh, 140 uh, billion euros in, in connecting different parts of Europe. So this is going on, and we are on a good speed. So, uh, so we are delivering on more grids, and it's a non-regret option to build this type and this volume on grids. And we have stopped, uh, and we have discussed and seen if we analyzed, if we do not build grids, this amount of grid, what will happen? And uh, it's not that good. The prices will increase. We will have more curtailment, 100 terawatt hours of curtailment of, of uh, energy, of renewables. And we also will emit uh, 50 million ton of uh, CO2 more if we didn't, don't build grids. So, more grids, better markets. We need to expand existing markets. We have day ahead markets, intraday markets, and now we also establish European balancing markets. Uh, so this is what we uh, also 
need to do to make sure that we are able to deliver this, uh, this uh, energy transition. But we need better markets. And, uh, and uh, we need real-time markets. Now it's one hour time resolution in the market. We need 15 minutes. We're going there in 2022. But we need also five minutes uh, markets. That's what they have some places in the US and that's also possible when, uh, in, in Europe. We need capacity markets to make sure that we get the investments for, for this backup we need uh, when the sun is not shining and the wind is not blowing and the grids. And we need better locational signals. Now I'm in the nerdy, nerdy place, but this is very important because we need to make sure that we know where, where the demand and the supply is in our grid. So I'm not going to go through this chart, but today we have huge deviation in Europe, in Central Europe, between commercial flows, day, day before, and actual flows. So actual flows many times flows from, uh, from a high price to low price, and that's not good. Then it's not efficient. And last, we, have, uh, we need also the customer to be digitalized. The whole value chain needs to be digitalized, and I'm, I'm sure people are going to talk about that later. But I took the example of the customer. Uh, because we are in the Nordic region, we are so lucky. We worked on a retail market for 10 years. We have a very efficient retail market. We have a, a Nordic settlement. We have a dynamic prices. Uh, and uh, an efficient wholesale market, and now we also uh, the four Nordic uh, um, transmission system operators are about, some have established data hubs that can be backup for the, for the retail market. So the customers can be digitalized and can ask for services from, from different service providers like Tiber, it's just one that are have a Norwegian background. They have an app. They have 40,000 downloads just now, and there are many of them. They will digitalize the houses, and they are able to do that because we've done the right thing with the retail market. So the price signals from, for capacity and energy will go and can be influenced directly to the consumer. But, we need an affordable energy transition. And that's been more clear lately, at least for me. You see the yellow vests in Paris. Uh, they started, at least started out with the high uh, CO2 tax. And, and uh, when people do not, you know, they, when the difference between rich and poor in countries get too wide, you will have also the reaction on the uh, energy trans, uh, transition. So we need uh, this, we need uh, uh, affordable energy transition, and we don't need too widespread economy between high and low uh, economy. And we see also on the right side there that we have had also a lot of demonstrations in the rich country Norway on, the, on, uh, on uh, taxes on, uh, on toll uh, on, the, on the roads. So an affordable energy transition is needed, and mission is, in, mission is possible. We have several reports, and we have several good news from the, from, uh, from the stage today, that this is not so costly if we organize it in a good way. And it's just 1% of the GDP in the world. And I can tell you the transmission system operators will try to facilitate this transmission transition in, uh, in as much as possible in the future. Thank you.